I'm Rahul and in this tutorial I am going to tell you a few Unix command which you may be require while accessing the Python. So if you are uh, running your Python code in uh, IDE, in Spider IDE, so you don't need anything. So like you have three, you have three windows, one window is your console and one window is your editor. You can edit the, the code and you can run into the console and everything will be done here itself. But if you are uh, running from the command line so for that uh, you need to learn few basic commands okay so for window particular i will explain those commands at the end of this video but now i am going to explain those unix command which, which are useful for running the python codes or accessing the various directory in mac and in uh, maybe ubuntu or linux so for that I'll give you an idea. So I want to tell you the first command that is man. Okay, so it is basically if you don't know any command, just type man space that command. This will tell you everything about that. So uh, there's a command ls uh, which is used for list uh, directory in Windows, uh, which uses uh, DOS. It will be like dir, but here it is ls. So to know that command, we'll type man ls. So let's see what is ls. So list directory content. So it will list all the directory content. So directory is nothing but the folder. So in Windows, you have one folder. Similarly, you will create a folder and you call it directory. Okay. So it has various, it can be used with various abbrevi abbreviations. So like ls minus a, ls minus l, something like that. So like, so take this example ls minus l. So it uh, basically give you a little more information the size and all the format whether it's a directory or the file so similarly so we will use that how so i type ls so it is showing me all the directories which are there in my computer so all the folders which are there in my computer say uh, downloads uh, desktops uh, documents these things okay so what if i do ls minus l so as I said, it will give you more information. So, so DD is written first letter. So that is these are directories. Okay, if it, if it's not directory, so the dash will be there for a file. Okay, so this R is for read, write, and X is for access. Okay, you can access this. So this first RWX is for user. So user can read, write, and access here. And the second RWX is for the uh, member of the group. So like here, these are dash. So there is no permission for the member of group to read, write and access this. And the last three are for other user can do these things. So uh, this particular directory is restricted to user only. User can read, write and access this. Others cannot do that. Okay, so th this is the meaning of the thing. So next command I'm going to use is, so that is uh, pwd, it will tell you the present working directory, pwd, present working directory. So here you can see it is telling me your user, this, is, this, this first slash is root, and then user, and then uh, macbook, Rahul's macbook. So I am in that, so before that I have these things, okay. So, so, so where I am present now, so I'll explain you here, you can see in the video. So, so after that, if I do ls here, I will get this thing. So next command is cd, that is cd, that is change directory. So if I want to go say, so there is one directory codex, I want to go there, codex. And here if I do pwd, so you can see after Rahul's macbook and we are into codex okay and if we do ls so it will be shown here okay so with cd we can change the directory backward we can change the directory okay to go forward and what if we want to go backward uh, this is a current pwd so i do cd dot space dot dot so it will take me back now see the pwd so this is the current pwd okay and this was before cd dot dot okay 
so these are the contents so I'll do cd dot dot again so now if you see the pwd so I am in user so user have these files so again if I do cd dot dot pwd so I am in the root now okay and if you see the ls these are the files there so earlier so from root how will we go to the uh, Rahul's MacBook in root we'll go to the cd user and after that if you go to cd user you will get these options guest share and Rahul's MacBook and here you can find you can go to cd Rahul's MacBook and after that if you go here you can find these many options so that's how you switch okay so but if you are here and you want to go to your home the home is Rahul's MacBook so how will you go just press CD space tilde and enter now see the PWD yes you are in that Rahul's MacBook so this is your current PWD so that's how you use it and there is one more thing like the root folder you can access directly in root you have seen the folder name was etc so here if you type cd slash etc so directly you are into that see slash etc so those folder you can find directly okay but let me come to the home so this is my home and these are the files in the home these are the directories on the home now if I want to create a directory suppose I want to create a folder here so what will I do I do I use command mktir say I want to create one directory named abc ok now if you do ls this abc will come here this abc is here ok so we have created it just now and in that I will go in that directory cd abc so if you simply just press a and after that you can press the tab it will come automatically ok let me clear this pwd so now you can see the present working directory ok we are in this and here so if i do ls there will not be anything ls so nothing is there nothing to show how will I create a file? Suppose I want to create a file. So I'll use the command touch T O U C H touch. I want to create abc dot say python. I want to create a python so abc dot py. Okay, if I do ls now, so abc dot py is there. Okay. So that's how you create your Python file and like in any directory you can create your Python file, you can edit it and after go, uh, going after reaching till that directory you can run your code say python then abc.py and that's how you run this code because you should know where your file is okay so that's why i'm telling you all these commands and there are few exercises also which you can which you may be require sometime suppose you want to copy this file python abc.py into some another file say x xyz dot text so it's a txt file you want to copy this so, so the whole content of abc.py will come into xyz dot txt okay so you can see now after doing ls one more file got created all the content of abc will be in this file as well so since there is no content in abc so this file is also empty and how will you remove the file suppose you want to remove this so for that the command is rm suppose i want to remove abc.py so rm abc.py enter now if you do ls so abc.py is not there only xyz.txt is there next useful command may be move that is mv so if you want to move this xyz.txt file so uh, let me tell you dot slash is it it tells you the present directory the present location and if you want to go back so it's dot dot slash okay so let me do pwd so after this this is my present working directory 
and I want to uh, move this file in MacBook. Okay, I mean before this folder. So what will I do? I'll do mv space in that file name xyz.txt and dot dot slash. So it will come out and throw it there. So now if I do ls, so in abc folder there is nothing. But if I go back cd dot dot and here if I see so with these directories when xyz.txt also get added here. So that's how we move things between the folder. And if you want to say move uh, two folder back, so we will do what we will do. We will do mv dot then again dot dot slash. So two folder back. So these are the basics. So these are the very basic Unix command which you may be require for accessing Python for running Python code. There are other commands as well, but I don't feel the need to, to explain it here. Maybe I'll explain those in some other tutorial. So I will explain you these commands in Windows, which uses DOS. So if you are running your Python code using a command line, Windows command line, so you may be requiring those things. Okay. This is the uh, window and here I will type CMD and I'll get this prompt command line prompt. And here if I want to see the list of content, so I'll type dir instead of ls. So I do that and this is the content of uh, EEE and you can see the desktop is there, documents, downloads and if you actually see the EEE, all the things are here, A picture folder is also there. So these all are here okay so if i now go to the desktop i type cd desktop i'll be able to see the content of desktop now after doing dir so these are the folders in the on the desktop as you can see z code is there the same z code you can match here as well at the terminal and similarly study pics uh, this uh, directory this folder is there so that's why it is represented as dir because it's directory so i'll uh, show you one file also so just take this example pm7 is one file so if you see on the terminal the uh, command prompt so it, it is here and uh, dir is not mentioned because it's a file okay so if i go back by doing cd dot dot so you can see the nomenclature right hand side it will follow this so now I'm in users and users have those contents uh, now uh, if I do the ls so these are the things in the user triple e is a part of user you can match it from the right hand side okay again cd dot dot so now I'm in the root so these are the content of the root a user is one of the folder uh, go, if I further try to go back so let's see what happened so it is still the same so that's that's uh, how we can conclude root is the end point there we can't go beyond that okay so now go to CD users then CD triple uh, E and then CD desktop And in desktop, I want to go in CD uh, Z code where my Python code is written. So, here if you do dir, not ls, <laughs> so you can see these codes are here. I have already created few files. So, if I want to uh, access this particular file, so I write Python space file name. That's it.